Welcome to Specific Love. Today we're gonna to talk about the drill and the impact driver. What's the difference? Which is better and which one do you need? Let's do this. This reminds me of my first impact driver. It was Christmas time. Imagine you're sitting there at the tree, you're ripping open paper, you're throwing stuff out of boxes, and I got a funny looking drill. I mean, I have a good drill, but I guess the second one will be okay, thank you. My dad looks at me, he goes, if you've never used an impact driver, once you start, you'll never turn back. Transition several years. I just got done building a deck. Oh my goodness, an impact driver was a go-to tool for that exact project. Let me show you why. First off, let's get the obvious out of the way. The impact, in most cases, will be shorter than your drill. And that's because your drill has a clutch here and your impact does not. Now the clutch in your drill limits exactly how much pressure that the bit or the fastener will be going into your project. And it's really good to have, especially if you have little delicate projects. Now, if you're looking for something that needs to go into a tight location, your impact will definitely go in there a lot better than your drill because of its shorter stature. And if you're gonna be working on a large project, say like a deck, this right here is a great tool to grab to put all your fasteners in. If by chance you're new to drills, I just recently put out a 20 tips video for those that are beginners, so make sure you check that out. I'll put a link to it up here and in the description. Now when you're using a drill or an impact, there's a large difference in the sound it makes when it's actually installing fasteners. And for that matter, whenever you're using impact I'd strongly suggest wearing some hearing protection. Now I'm going to install a screw with each one of these so you can hear the difference. Now you notice right there at the end the impact was actually ratcheting or impacting the actual screw as it was putting it in. Whenever an impact reaches resistance as it continues to turn it has like a little hammer motion going ta -ta 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 -ta, helping it to complete that turn. Whereas a regular drill does not it just has that twisting motion. So when it reaches its limit it's actually going to turn you versus an impact will just force it in further. Alright using the same boards here I'm going to be using the drill to show you how it twists on your wrist. I got two screws already installed see I'll twist my wrist a good bit now we're gonna use the same with an impact hardly any twist at all quick little side note an impact driver is not the same as a hammer drill an impact driver actually hammers in a circular motion and a hammer drill actually hammers in a downward motion. The hammer drill is great for masonry and whenever you're trying to drill into rock or stone or anything like that, where an impact driver is not. Now another big benefit of your impact, it is less likely to cam out when you're installing your fasteners. Now cam out happens when you're installing your screw and your bit wants to keep jumping out and jumping to the next groove in the top of your screw, similar to this. Now the impact helps prevent the cam out because as it is turning, each of those little hits gives it a moment of just a tiny bit of time to reset back into the hole. So yes, it is still possible for it to cam out with an impact driver, but it is less likely. Now one of the major benefits of an impact driver is installing really large screws. This is five and an eighth inches long and it's five sixteenths inch thick. With a standard drill, yeah, you could probably get it in there, but it's gonna take a lot of jarring on your wrist and your whole body trying to push and get it to go in. Versus an impact driver will make simple work of this. Now I'm gonna install this large faster and this is a two x four and a pressure treated four x four underneath so that it'll be fastened all the way through. We're gonna use the drill first, see how well it does and then we'll use the impact right after. If you notice, the drill keeps stopping because it's just too much pressure for the bit to, or the drill to get that fastener all the way in there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna be using the impact this time. Well, a bit fell out, but that's okay. If you notice, there was zero resistance going down. The impact did not stop at all. It may have slowed down just a hair at the end there, but it forced that screw all the way in there where the drill could not. And the reason why the bit fell out, apparently the magnet is no longer in the bottom of that holder. Now another benefit of the impact is you don't have to have as much downward pressure. When I was installing those large screws right at the end, I realized I didn't even need pressure on the top of it. So I just took my hand off and the impact didn't have any issue with trying to cam out 
or trying to even stop what it was doing. It just kept forcing its way through. Another big difference between a drill and an impact is how it holds the bit. You have a chuck on a drill that you can tighten and loosen, but over on the impacts, you actually have a little hex bit holder. Some of them you can push in and they lock, and some of them you have to pull out for them to lock. In any case, it locks these bits in nice and secure, so you don't have to worry about them falling out while they're being used. Now even though it's a big benefit having this locking end on the end of your impact driver, it is bad when it comes to drill bits. When you have your standard drill, you can change the size of your chuck so you can meet the size of a drill bit. But when it comes to the impact driver, you can't. So that means anytime you're shopping for your impact driver, you need to make sure it has the correct hex head on the end down here so that it can easily be installed. Now even though finding the hex headed bits are a lot easier to do nowadays, it's still a lot more common to find your standard bits. So in those cases, I strongly recommend keeping a drill around to drill your holes. Now we do have to remember since we're using impact rated tool, we need to buy impact rated bits. Now I have found that some of these bits that are not impact rated will work if you're screwing stuff into pine or any other soft woods. But if you're using hardwoods or you're screwing into say metal, you definitely need to buy impact rated bits. Now if you happen to like pocket screws and you plan on installing some of those in one of your projects, I strongly recommend using a drill for that and not an impact. Now even though most of your bits that come for your pocket screws, yes, they have a hex head that fit nicely into your impact driver. But I would strongly recommend using a drill because as you're drilling it in, you can feel a little bit of resistance and you know exactly when to stop drilling it in versus an impact, like we showed earlier, is very little twist on your wrist, so it's a lot harder to figure out exactly how deep everything thing is you can easily bust through and break your project. And the same thing can be true about when you're using real delicate screws. Make sure to use a drill, not an impact, or you can break off the heads or strip them out easily. Now another benefit to your impact tool is you get an impact rated socket adapter. That way you can get some of your impact sockets and use those on some bigger projects. So which one is better, the impact driver or the drill? Well, honestly I think they kind of complement each other. There's some things that the impact driver can do that the drill cannot, and some that the drill can do that the impact driver cannot. So, I think they should complement each other and you should buy them as a set whenever possible. Now let's say you do not have the funds to buy them as a set and you can only buy one at a time, then I would suggest buying the drill. It seems to be a lot more versatile for most of the DIY and stuff you'd be doing around your house. But if you can, I strongly suggest buying them as a set because you'll find uses for each one. Now. I strongly suggest looking at manger holidays and other times of the year they'll be having big sales not just on these brands but other brands and then you can get good deals and be able to buy both of them hopefully at the same time. With that said I hope you liked this review and I hope you like seeing the differences between the two and I hope you can get out in your shop and have fun building. Drex the blah 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 blah. Growing anything, any, anything, any, anything, anything harder. Wow!